Hi there everyone, thanks again for joining me today. I wanted to take this moment to address a question that my student asked in a lesson earlier this week. And I felt it important enough to let everybody hear my answer and think about this um, because I think it's important. So in the lesson she asked me, first of all, how does she market herself as a harpist? And the second thing was, she's afraid that she doesn't want to take work away from someone else that may have different credentials than she does. So I'm really glad that she asked this question. And if it's something that you've been thinking about, I uh, just wanted to give you my two cents. First of all, understand that you are worthy and that you deserve to have a spot and to have your voice be heard. Um, I think that that's something that all young women and men need to hear, uh, especially if we have fallen on hard times or have had something happen to us. We need to realize that our voice is just as important as the next and that you deserve to have that voice be heard. You deserve to be respected and you are, you are worthy. Work on having good self-worth. It is really important. So with that being said, um, there, there are so many instances in history where an individual has no credentials, so to speak of, in terms of a formal education, uh, a graduate of a university or conservatory in their particular field, and they do just as well, if not better than some. There are musicians who have gone on with no education, formal education, in their, in their field and have made millions. So it doesn't, I would say it doesn't matter. I am a product of a formal education and a master's degree. It has benefited me more than I can explain in this short video. I encourage everyone to pursue uh, further education whether that be at an institution or private lessons. It's really important not only to become a better musician, just uh, to feel better about your playing, to feel more confident, to explore different avenues, expand your playing. So with that said, I, I, I told her don't let the fact that she may not have a degree in heart performance keep her from feeling like she's self like she's worthy of, uh, you know, the business of getting a gig and getting paid for the gig. And so that leads us to the other, the other question she had. She was worried that she was taking work away from someone. And my response to that was, this, this is life. That's the name of the game. You having a job and you making money at a gig may keep so someone else from having that gig and making that money but if you have worked hard enough and, and you have put in the time and the effort and you work towards bettering yourself as a musician you deserve to be in that spot um, and this may be subjective some people may may see musicians who have terrible technique or who don't, don't have the background that they're supposed to have have a position that they feel they don't they don't deserve um, you know, there, there's, there's gray area everywhere. It's, it's not, it's not black and white. So at the end of the day, my saying to her was chance favors the prepared. Prepare the best that you can. Practice, be a hard worker, and do your best so that when the opportunity presents itself, you're ready. And that you do well, and you get called back. And I told her to have the repertoire. You have to have the repertoire. So learn as many songs as you can learn. Learn a wide variety, whatever your niche is. If it's weddings, learn wedding repertoire. If it's background gigs, get that repertoire. If it's orchestral, start learning the excerpts. Whatever it is, focus on that and do the hard work. You have to practice. I keep telling all of my students that. You absolutely have to practice. Uh, but just to kind of bring it back around to the first thing I said, 
please understand that you are you are worthy of this that you have great importance in this world that you are a beautiful person you have to find your own niche you have to find what makes you you and highlight that love that enjoy that love yourself be patient to yourself be kind to yourself i say that every day to all of my students be patient be kind to yourself uh, it goes a long way uh, you know i didn't get to where i am overnight and and it's still a daily struggle we are all struggling we are all trying to do our best so um in terms of marketing yourself it is it is not easy today's uh, way of marketing ourselves is very different than when I was growing up. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have all sorts of social media outlets and YouTube and I just I also told her content is a huge thing. Check out Kathy Heller's um, podcast Don't Keep Your Day Job and it is she essentially is just so passionate and so um, full of full of information about you know loving what you do and trying to make what you do work as a business having content always putting something out there I, I think it is a beautiful thing that we all have this shared passion this shared love for music and for harp so let's try not to step on each other's toes uh, embrace each other try to help each other grow and become a better person but I think a really important way to start is to love yourself and realize that you are worthy. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.